us here in Ohio. I hope you have beautiful weather too. We are starting off with introducing our special leader, Hernan. <laughs> yeah, good Hernan. Morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone in Hatchas region. I hope you are enjoying this day because it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of recognition, a lot of training, and all your leaders has prepared a excellent excellent event so uh thank you i want to first thank everyone every single consultant manager director for this wonderful year 2021 yes it's been a challenging year i know uh we've been in a lot of changes uh but life is about changing so uh and we're gonna be talking about reimagine because this is what we want you to reimagine a new year now that we're getting close to a new year 2022 Reimagine a new war, a new you, a new business. So um, I don't know, you can share the presentation, Pan. Do you have it um, with you? No, why don't you pop them up, Hernan? Okay, because I have uh, here uh, some slides that I wanna share with you. Uh, and first, before I start that, let me tell you, we are right now at more than $31.5 million in sales for the whole year. And this only this month of December, we already surpassed the $1 million in sale. So you are really doing amazing. More than 9,000 recruits have come during 2021. So I want to, again to thank every one of you for uh, inviting those uh, new consultants to join us in this business and uh, wishing you all, all uh, a great, great uh, first Christmas time during this uh, season. And of course, an uh, excellent and wonderful and prosperous 2022. So uh, let me share here some slides because I wanna talk about reimagine, reimagine uh, your business, reimagine your world. So let me see if I can do that. Um, it's been, as you know, two years of constant, constant change since the start of the pandemic. It's been very interesting and change could be inconvenient, sometimes uncomfortable, sometimes scary. All of you had to adjust and learn new ways to do your business during the last couple of years. I'm sure you did a lot of changes. You become an expert or you are trying to uh, in the virtual world. It is always a good time when we start a new year for reimagining and reinventing yourselves making those new year resolutions. We know we, it's a good time to do that. So let's talk about the four pillars for reimagining and reinventing yourself. And you see them here in, in this logo, renew, re-energize, refocus, and reflect. So I'm gonna start with, uh, oops, I went one further, with renew. And renew, you can see uh, we move in life through the process of change, reinvention, and renewal. And renewal is that process of adjusting any ch changes to your purpose. Yes, it's adjusting, mm -hmm. not uh, avoiding the changes, but adjusting those changes to your purpose. It requires opening yourself up to new ways of thinking and feeling. Every day, there is a renewal opportunity. You are constantly starting over all the time, and you have the opportunity to make a difference every single day. So think of each and every day as a new life for you, new opportunity. Uh, this quote says here, you should be waiting anxiously, anxiously for a new day, a new opportunity or new life for you every day. So you cannot change your past. I, I know you can't, but you can definitely change your future. You should always refresh and renew yourself. This other quote on your right says, it is one of my favorites in the Bible. And it says that the Lord mercies are new every morning. Yes, he has new mercies for us every single morning. And of course, every single new year. So it is a beautiful promise that help us renew. And we're going to take it for 2022. So the next one is re-energize. Re-energize. The key to re-energize is to be passionate in everything you do. Let passion increase your energies every single day. The greater your passion for what you do, the <clears throat> more you will re-energize. And this is why successful people seem to have so much energy. They are doing something they really love 
and they focus solely on doing what they love. So revisit and re-experience your passion every day. Make time for your passion, live your passion and you will be re-energized. This last quote says, the passion is energy and it invites you to feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. So make sure that you have your passion alive every single day. And then the next one is refocus. Refocus, you get what you focus on. Your mind is literally designed to pay attention to the things that you notice or you focus on. I'm sure each one of you at some point has bought a new car. When, and this happens to me all the time. I buy a new car and for some reason I have never seen that car on the street. But once I get that new car in red color, I see it everywhere. This is because now you're noticing something. You are focusing on that specific uh, product. So whatever you look for is gonna be everywhere. If you look or focus on the negative, yes, it will be everywhere. Same if you look for the positive. So be careful what you focus on. As it says on this quote, your life is controlled by what you focus on. When you focus on things that are negative or bad, they will become exaggerated. They will begin to monopolize your thoughts and you will see them everywhere. If your thoughts keep returning to fear, doubt, or anger about your past, you will be holding up your future. So you cannot move forward until you let go those emotions. Go, go, go. Like, uh, Gen Con, like COVID, like all those things, you need to let those go. Focus on positive things. And it is easy. You start with making the purpose every day to start your day saying something positive to your loved ones at home, and then continue doing the same day during the day in every single contact and connection. Uh, you need to be positive. So focus forward on what you want. Your future is waiting for you. What's ahead of you is big, bold, bright, an amazing future. Always think that the best days of your life are in front of you, are still to come. And finally, uh, the next one is reflect. And reflect <clears throat> is important for your mind, body, and spirit to take daily time for reflection. Reflection is like looking back to see. Uh, so the view when you're looking forward is more clear. Yes, you want to have a, a more clear view of the future. In other words, reflecting on experiences from the past, everything that has happened this year and learning from those experiences will make you stronger. So this gives you the ability to learn from mistakes as well from your successes. The reality is everything in your life is a reflection of a choice you have made. If you want a different result, of course, you have to make a different choice. You, ha you have to try different things. Any goal you have, any dream you have should be more important than anything else. Focus on that. And remember, <clears throat> success requires sacrifice, requires effort and discipline. If you are not willing to sacrifice now for what you want, then you may be later making sacrifices for what you don't really want. So reflect on this. As this quote says, time spent in self-reflection is never wasted. It is an intimate date with yourself, and we all need more of those days in our life. Don't you? Yes. All right. So going back to reimagine, these are the key: renew, re-energize, refocus, and reflect. Reimagine your life and actively create the world you want for yourself, the world you want to be in 2022. Most people are living inside a box stuck in a small vision of both themselves and their future. Don't let that happen in your life. Think big, create a big vision. Think on the best, best year for you in 2022. Your potential isn't fixed, it's limitless. However, it is you who determines how far you want to go, not anything or anyone else. So your actions shape your personality. What you constantly do becomes you. If you don't want, if you don't like it, or you want something different, then simply do something different. Because again, doing the same will always give you the same result. So never stop reimagining and reinventing yourself. You should be constantly adapting and expanding your vision so you are not stuck in one place for too long. 
It is okay to make mistakes. Of course, you should be making mistakes because actually if you are making mistakes, it means you are trying new things, pushing yourself and changing yourself. So you are doing things that you never done before. Remember, team big, start small, but begin now. Put your best vision for 2022. So thank you everyone for joining us today. I wish you a excellent learning in this amazing winter fest with the Hatcha region, with this amazing uh, business leaders. And I uh, thank you again for this year, for your support, for your patience. I know we had to have a lot of patience. Thank you, thank you. And remember these words, reimagine yourself. God bless you all. I have a fantastic day. All right. Um, Wow. Thank you. Hey, um, what a delight it is to have you with us. Even um, the fact that you are juggling yourself all over, uh, making sure you're hitting all of the winter fast and, and running two regions at the same time. Uh, you really are appreciated. And we're appreciating the fact that you took the time to be with us for, for yes. so much of this morning. You'll see, he'll be around. Cheering you on. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, um, Hernan is a wonderful person. I wanted you to know a little bit about him. He has a beautiful wife that he's so very, very proud of. And um, he is a very successful regional and has had uh, lots of success in, um, in uh, being one of the <laughs> leading regionals um, in, uh, in growth and with the reading a Hispanic region and now leading us, the Hot Shots, which everybody knows we're awesome. But also <laughs> one of the things that I like so much is he's very much a family man. And I know, uh, knowing my friends like I know you, you like that too. <laughs> and so I wanted to share with you just that. Um, his beautiful daughters, who he's so proud of, he just recently yeah. celebrated a big anniversary. And 25. Yeah. <laughs> Actually 26, that was last year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful daughters. Um, and uh, so uh, they went on a cruise, right, Hernan? Yes, we went yes, to a cruise. Yes, that was so fun. But I just wanted you to know a little bit about him and who he is and his success. And so um, a great uh, message, a great uh, talk you gave us this morning. Thank you so much. And I so enjoyed hearing it. And, you know, it's, it's you know, some of the same things we say all the time, but out of a different voice. It's so interesting. Um, and I so loved it. Thank you so much.